Hi, this is Gary with G's Bees. Uh, I woke up this morning and there was ice on the, the frost on the ground and now we're sitting at about 76 degrees. So it's been quite a swing today. We're gonna get out and um, some of the bees are kind of running a little low on some stores. I bought some Hive Alive fondant and I'm gonna put this fondant on all the hives today just to kind of finish them up in case we have any more cold weather snaps. We've had two or three in a row, just really up and down on our temperatures. Um, I did, this is Hive Alive. I did get this shirt at Hive Life Conference and I dug it out of the closet today for the first time. I also went to Lowe's and I've got some inch styrofoam that I'm gonna put in some new telescoping lids that I'm building. And I'm building 10 of them and I'm gonna put them on my new uh, row that I've made for my splits down there because it's really really hot down there and the bees are always bearding in that area So I thought I'd try this out on my lids and see if it made any difference in the summer and in the winter So we're gonna look at that. So we're gonna put the hive life on I'll take I'll take go through the colonies just a little bit today because we're gonna kind of assess them for splits uh, We I've ordered ten new Queens coming in mid-April and I want to go ahead and kind of get them set up for the splits and um, kind of see how many splits I need. And I probably will have to make some more queens on my own, but it's just been so up and down on the cold and the drones haven't been real numerous. They're starting to come out now. And I think I'll go ahead and probably graft in probably in the next week or two. We'll go get suited up. And uh, also one thing I don't want to forget is my wife and I's 40th anniversary is today. We were married March 25th, 1983. We're going to put these Hive Live fondant patties on, and they're already ready for them to take. We just cut a slit in them, put them in there, and we are running low on some sugar supplies. So that's really what you're going to do when you want to feed your bees emergency feed during the winter is either sugar cakes, fondant, both. And then when you're coming into, like right now, where we've come into an area where We've got some pollen coming in. We've had two or three hard freezes that have killed what pollen we had kind of started off. That's when you really need to, to put the pollen patties to them so that they can make it through that area until they get their next pollen going. And they're just barely bringing any pollen in today. I mean, like maybe every 10th, 20th bee will have, you know, pollen. And so I think we're gonna go ahead and put pollen patties on for them today. And this will probably be the last time we'll have to do it because I think we're getting in to things are coming out and budding out now and hopefully we're out of our freezing weather and uh, we'll be able to just do the pollen patties today. And I think it's the last on the sugar and the fondant also. Okay, so these guys are completely out of their sugar stores. I did put some uh, one and a half to one sugar water on this past week when I got a couple of warm days that were about 60. I went ahead and put them on, put a, two pints on each one of these hives, but they are out of any emergency feed. So I think this fondant should carry them in on into uh, a good nectar flow, I'm hoping. And so we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, put that on them. I kinda wanna check these out to kinda see where we're at as far as it looks like See if we've got any brood rearing going up in this upper box. This is a smaller hive. I don't think I'll be surprised if we have any coming, but we'll take a look at it. And they just don't have any nectar in that, don't have anything in that. So it's a good thing we're putting some feed on for them. Yeah, there's no brood rearing going on up here at all. We'll check that lower out and see how much we have going. I'm just kind of going to start evaluating some of these and see kind of if I need new queens. When I get my queens, I'll replace the queen. If I don't need 
new queen, if she's laying up, how many frames that I'll be able to rob from them to start up a new a new colony to split them off to a new colony. So we'll see how that goes. So they have gone through all their pollen patty. So we're going to definitely give them another pollen patty today to keep them have enough for the brood because they're just not bringing much in yet. And as soon as we clear all this up, all this weather evens out a little bit, they'll be able to get more brood coming in. And we can not have to supplement them anymore. Going to clean this up just a little bit. Some of this burr comb. We're starting to get into the brood frame here. Just not seeing any, not much pollen at all. So definitely, that patty will definitely help them get through this little time. There's some milk brood, a few eggs, so she is laying. So there's two frames of brood. There's three frames of brood. There's the queen. Right there, on my thumb. Okay, we'll put her back in there and leave a little space. And that looks like that's a bit, it does have some nectar in it there. Just probably what I gave them this week. Okay. So that's a little small, just got about three and a half frames of brood. I'm gonna go ahead and give them a, since this is the last time I'll probably be giving them pollen patty, I'm gonna go ahead and give them a whole patty. I'm not seeing any hive beetles. We'll watch for them today, but we did put peppermints on early and we had a few to begin the year, not too many, just the ones that were just kind of hanging out. But I have not seen any since, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use these. We'll just go ahead and put that on in there because I don't have my feeder shims out here. So we'll just reuse those. Same thing here. So that is 10 full pounds both these hives took, plus a little bit of feed from sugar water when we kind of got 
plugged in some sugar water when we had warmer days. So they have really taken a lot of stores, but it has been just up and down on the weather this year. And they really started out early, getting out earlier because we had such warm weather in February. Clean these up a little bit. Boy, this box is really full. Give them a whole pollen patty. I've got just a little bit of sugar left. I put this medium on last week. Doesn't look like they've moved up in it too much. There's a few in there. Let's see kind of how they're doing here. I do have a little bit of brood in that. I'm gonna go ahead and put a patty, about a half a patty on them. Just a little bit left. You can see just there's just not much left of that sugar, so just a little bit. These girls have been busy. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off, put a pollen patty on. Just a little bit of burr coming off.
about half a patty. A little bit of sugar left in that, so they've just pretty well wiped all this emergency stores out. Kind of coming to the end of the time they're going to need it. Boy, these boxes are full. do have a couple of frames of brood up here. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there. Go ahead and put them a pollen patty on. Since they've got a full sugar, I'm not going to put Hive Live on them. I'm just going to leave them with that sugar. And we'll move on to the next one. So they're pretty well hollowed that out. What you do have to watch on these is when they hollow them out like this, when it gets really cold, they won't move to the outside. They'll stick to those inner frames. And a lot of times I've had dead outs that had sugar on the outside. So either move them to the inside, but since I'm putting the fondant on today, I'm not gonna worry about it too much, but 
just something to keep in mind when you're watching your sugar stores. Try to keep them towards the middle frames because that's where they're going to hang out because it's going to be colder on the outside frames and they're going to be in this part a lot more. So something to watch out for. Especially when you're coming into these months where they can starve to death really easy because they've got a lot going on. They're out and they're about, but they are not bringing anything, if much of anything, in. And so this, until you really get some good nectar flows going, you've really got to watch their stores. stuck. Okay, they've got just a little bit of sugar stores left. She's grown just a little bit. And I will get just a little bit of pollen patty. And that palm patty too much, but I'm going to put one down on their brood. When we went to Lowe's, we were in the flower section looking at some flowers and trees and stuff and they had this heather on sale. And um, the bees were all over it at the store. 
So we figured they'd like it here and we brought it down. We haven't planted it yet, but we're gonna plant it in between the two rows of the, the two yards here, or the yard. There's some already on it. They, they kind of got right on it right when we brought it down here. So I think they're gonna like it. Okay, this is our split row. We're still, still in the growing phase here for sure. Some of these guys just barely made it out of winter, but that's okay. We'll take what we can get. They've taken just a little bit of that pollen patty. They've got plenty of sugar. I'm gonna go ahead and give them some fondant though because that fondant's already ready to eat and ready to go when they take it in rather than having to convert the sugar. So I'll go ahead and give them one of these. These are a little bit bigger. I am gonna probably see how these do and watch them a little closer, but these guys are doing okay. They do have some sugar left. Yeah, they've taken that patty on down. They've got some sugar left, so we'll give them some more patty here.
Yeah, we'll have to check this queen too out. When we get the queens, I'm going to check this and that other hive down there. Because this hive uh, just has not grown up. And this is actually a, was a bigger hive from last year. So I think she's kind of run out of steam. But I'll check on her when I get my queens here uh, in a couple of three weeks. And um, we'll see. They're not taking pollen patties too well. So um, I'll go ahead and give them some fondant. So we've got a little, little bit of patty left there. Sometimes it's hard to tell on some of these that are small because this row is carniolan row. So they're pretty well all carniolans, which come on late. But and by the time we get queens in two to three weeks, we should be able to tell kind of more about how their laying pattern is and how strong they're laying. And uh, we'll requeen them if they need it. And if they don't, we'll make splits and use the queens for that. So anyway, I appreciate you watching today. And uh, it's about all I've got going on. I'll go check on the other couple yards. I've just got uh, some nukes over here that I need to check on. And I've got a 10 frame and a couple of nukes and I'm getting ready to uh, split those off pretty quick and make nukes in my nuke yards. So uh, we'll be doing that in the future. Hope you're doing well. Hope your bees are doing well. Take care.